The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today we have a new promo in Mutt, and that is the Thanksgiving Ultimate Feast promo. Guys, there is a 95 overall Herman Moore that is the set hero for the whole thing, and that is pretty damn exciting. If you finish the Ultimate Feast, uh, you are going to get yourself a Herman Moore. Now, this is pretty damn cool. I will tell you that the Herman Moore is a beast of a card, even before we get into all this other stuff, but I do want to say that they did a great job, it looks like, on this promo. Uh, there's a lot of useful stuff in the game now, which I think is always a good thing, and there's some pretty cool dynamic cards as well that we're going to go over eventually as well. So the first thing, when you log in right now, you're going to see uh, that you do get yourself uh, a couple of free things here. Now, the first thing that you're actually going to get when you go in, you're going to be able to actually get this Ultimate Feast Starter Pack. Now, the Ultimate Feast Starter Pack is going to contain uh, one piece of food. So, let's see what we get here. We get biscuits. Now, I have no idea which one of these is rare, if any of them are rare. Uh, but you're also going to get two of the Mutt Tips that kind of break down what the promo is. So, that's kind of cool. So, basically, what you're going to need to get here is 10 of these pieces of food, these gold ones. And then, you're going to be able to get yourself an 87 overall, what are referred to as Challenger Player. And then, when you take that 87 overall challenger player and add 30 pieces more of food you're going to be able to get yourself a 90 overall champion player so we'll go over that a little bit more here in just a moment uh, but I want to go in here and show you guys real quickly uh, some of the players that they have in this now uh, this is pretty damn cool The the 87 overalls are you know they're nothing really that spectacular but the 90 overalls that they have are pretty interesting uh, I think that uh, when you upgrade these guys, you're going to get yourself like a Ryan Shazier 90 overall with 89 speed. We all know Ryan Shazier is one of the best user control middle linebackers in the game. There's an Eric Ebron that's 90 overall. There's a Travis, Travis Frederick that's a 90 overall. Chris Baker and Anthony Barr and then also a T.Y. Hilton. So you've got a bunch of different players here uh, that are going to be potentially upgraded as well. So what's cool about these is each one of them has a goal on the front of them. So you see like the Ryan Shazier, it says eight plus total tackles on Thanksgiving Day. So if that if Ryan Shazier gets eight or more tackles, he's going to move up to a 92 overall. Some of the other guys are going to move up to different ratings. Travis Frederick can actually go up to a 93. Uh, Anthony Barr a 92. Chris Baker and Eric Ebron are both 91s. And then T.Y. Hilton can also move up to a 93. So it's kind of cool that, they're a that they've got some dynamic stuff going on in this game as well. I definitely like that. Now, in order to actually get these uh, food items, they have, obviously, you can go in here and you can open up brand new packs in the game that are called Thanksgiving packs. These are 80,000 coins. You're going to get four pieces of food from them and two gold Thanksgiving players. Now, it's typically going to be gold. Technically, you can actually pull a limited edition Dak Prescott as well. I believe that's in packs. I haven't seen anything officially tweeted about it, but I believe that's in packs uh, for, you know, it's a, like I said, a limited edition, which is pretty damn cool. Um, there are also some other really beastly players as well here. Um, the Thanksgiving uh, Ultimate Feast players. If you get all of those, then you're going to actually be able to get yourself a, uh, a the Herman Moore that we had talked about. So uh, we'll go in here and take a look at the set here. The uh, Thanksgiving Herman Moore set. You're going to basically need to get all of these beastly ass players. Uh, including Luke Keekley, a Reggie Bush, which now I want to point out one thing right here. It's kind of weird that all these guys are in here. I don't know why they chose these players. It's kind of random. Some of them are not even on the team that they're in here as in, anymore. Like Jeremy Macklin, he isn't on the Eagles anymore. He's on the Chiefs. Uh, Reggie Bush, he isn't on the Lions anymore. Antonio Cromartie, I don't even think he's on a team right now. Uh, and then obviously we've got ones here like Ezekiel Ansah, uh, Luke Keekley, Jason Witten, Tony Romo. They're still on the same team. KJ Wright as well. Uh, but it's, it's very odd to me that they chose some of these guys. Now, um, what you're going to need here to get this Herman Moore is you're going to have to get all of these players and a Herman Moore, which you can get by doing solo challenges, uh, and then you're going to be able to get yourself the 95 overall Herman Moore. So 
my personal opinion is probably going to be too expensive to really complete this Hermit Moore for most people, but he is a 95 overall, so I mean, there's something to be said about that, but if you go in and take a look here at these cards, like for example, the Luke Keekly, which is probably the best of the bunch, it's going for about 231,000 coins, so that's pretty expensive. I actually saw it was like almost close to a million before when it when this prom promo first dropped. The Reggie Bush is really beastly as well. Uh, one thing that I do like to point out always with Reggie Bush, very fast with 92 speed and 93 acceleration but if you want to just use this Reggie Bush you can as like your standard running back I think because this card's got amazing catching as well 77 catching which is extremely good for a running back and he's also obviously got like the juke move the spin move that kind of stuff uh, but he also has things like the spectacular catch being an 88 great route running at an 85 86 catch in traffic uh, 82 release if you were to actually put him at wide receiver he can get off of uh, press coverage and things like that so it's definitely a nice card in it of itself. Now, the Dak Prescott, like I said, I, I have not seen this thing online anywhere. Uh, you thankfully don't need that Dak Prescott to actually complete this set, so that's good. Uh, but you do need his uh, the guy who he's replaced as the Cowboys starting quarterback, Tony Romo. And you can kind of see here, some of these aren't quite as expensive. Romo's only going for just under 20,000 coins. So not all of them are going to be super expensive. One other card that I wanted to point out here, I believe this is the best kicker in the game right now, Justin Tucker, going for 73,000 coins. Uh, take a quick look at his attributes attributes here a 94 for kick power 90 for kick accuracy and of course he is a 94 overall so you do need that card to complete this set as well now the Herman Moore uh solo challenges that are in the game as well these are pretty interesting because um you can get good stuff from them. Like, it's not just doing the solo challenges to get that Herman Moore. You actually get stuff along the way as well, which is kind of cool. Okay, so here are the solo challenges, guys. The limited time one right here. You're going to click on that. It's going to bring you in, and you're going to see the Thanksgiving Ultimate Feast right at the top. Now, there are 12 total challenges for you to complete. You don't really get very many coins for doing these, like 100, 250. Like, that's not really what you're going for. Uh, but you are eventually going to get uh, some packs here, like the Thanksgiving food pack here. And that's, of course, going to contain the food that you need to be able to get yourself. If you do all of these solo challenges, you're going to be able to get yourself... Uh, one of the 87 overall challenger players, which is nice. And then you're going to have to open up packs to actually get the remaining uh, or purchase, of course, off the auction block, the remaining food items that you need to turn that 87 overall into a 90 overall. But at the end, again, you're going to get an ultimate feast reward pack and, of course, the Herman Moore as well by the end. So, uh, which is, you know, all that stuff I think is pretty damn nice. I, I'm a big fan of uh, the fact that they have those uh, dynamic players in the game. I think that when they introduced those in the beginning of the year, or actually I guess it was towards the end of Madden 16, uh, when I heard about the dynamic players that kind of improve or go down based on how they perform, I was a huge fan of that. I, I definitely think that that's something that they need to implement more into the game. So I'm, I'm a big fan of them doing that here. Uh, let's go in and just see if there is a Dak Prescott. I have not seen one, like I said. Uh, so we'll quick see here if one loaded. Nope, nothing loaded. So there is not any current Dak Prescotts uh, on the market. So that's a little bit unfortunate. That card could get super expensive. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown, it does have 84 speed at quarterback with 92 throw power, 90 for throw accuracy short, 86 mid, and 88 deep with 84 play action and 91 throw on the run. So it is a nice quarterback card, definitely. Uh, very comparable, I would say, to Marcus Mariota with a little bit better throw accuracy deep. So it's definitely a very good card, and I think it's going to be pretty expensive. But uh, with that said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. We will be doing some Thanksgiving content on this channel for sure. But I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of this promo, kind of explain everything as far as I understand it. If you guys have any questions, be sure to drop those in the comments section below. Hope you learned something today. If you did, do me a favor and quick drop a like on the video. I would appreciate it. And uh, with that said, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Good luck pulling everything. Uh, I think it's going to be a fun promo, but I want to hear from you guys in the comments section below. What do you think about this promo? Let me know in the comments section. Thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.